everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be going over the NHL slate for this evening. Um, first of all, I want to highlight something, which I keep forgetting to highlight, is that DraftKings has done a really nice job job trying to get people in, uh, involved in hockey by uh, creating this uh, this smaller uh, MME contest. I think that's that's really good on, good on them. Uh, that's one thing. Second thing is we're going to go over the slate in the same way that we have been. And uh, boy, we were really close yesterday. I was between these two, the two teams as being the key, the key, um, the key stacks. And if I just made the, the, the ownership decision, which I, boy, this is, was really bad. I mean, I had Winnipeg and, um, and the Kings and it turned out the Kings were really, really popular and Winnipeg, not as much and Winnipeg smash. And the guys we had from Winnipeg smashed as well. So that was a, that was a mistake by me. Um, and in this particular case, Saberson didn't save me in the MMEs because I got didn't get too much of the uh, uh, too much of Winnipeg in those. So, oh well, we'll move on to this slate, and we're gonna again we're gonna go from the, kind of the bottom up. We're gonna go from the implied team totals as as not as as Vegas suggests, but as the projection models uh, suggest. Um, and then we're going to uh, look at my sheets then do a hand built lineup and then go and, and do a Saberson build. Uh, and we are going to play this, uh, the smaller uh, GPP today. Okay. Um, let's first look at the team totals for today. And we'll, we'll pull up also the, uh, we'll pull up a contest here. We have something to work with. We'll pull up the top shelf. Okay. Um, one, two, three, five, six. And just before we even look at the team totals, how about this? How about we just eyeball this? I would imagine that Ed, ooh, Edmonton and Dallas, that's a good game. I would imagine that that that, Ve that the Vegas would be probably pretty good. And then probably Nashville. Chicago is in full tank mode. Um, that's what I would expect. And then let's see what else. And obviously Minnesota, because everybody's always seems to have a good team total against Minnesota, uh, against Anaheim. So that's what I was expect based on my limited hockey knowledge. Um, let's see what the team totals look like. We'll look at, again, the same projection models we've been kind of looking at. Um, actually, I don't have um, Daily Roto up, but I will pull it up. Because then they're free and they're, they won't get mad if I put this up because they are free. Um Okay. So it looks like they have Tampa with a four, Florida with a four, Dallas with a four. Wow. I guess Dallas is really good defensively if Edmonds is only two and a half. Uh, Minnesota almost a four and, and Vegas almost a four. And let's look at Saberson. They will have anybody up to four? No. They have Dallas at three eight, Vegas at three nine, and Minnesota. So again, Vegas and Minnesota. And then we look at the daily face-off people, Minnesota at four and Vegas. So Minnesota and Vegas look to be the two main teams uh, on the slate uh, as far as team totals were concerned. Now let's see how the how salaries kind of uh, kind of look. All right, um, we'll pull up my sheets again, and we ranked everybody by sheets value score, which is column G over here. And again, what we're looking for is are guys that are you know on the same team that project really well you know that are kind of all on the same main page and again this is the opposite of, of the opposite this is the real you know lack of the non-algorithmic play you know just to just to gaze at it and see what guys are near kind of the top and if you get a bunch of them together that's good if you don't have 10 million together, that's not that good. If you have anybody there, there, there at all, that's no good. Okay. And then what we do is then we'll scan all the way over to here and see if there's a lot of, a lot of these numbers that look the same. Cause these are the even strength lines and the power play lines. And look, if the ownership is low, that's even better, but it's kind of tough to get the top projected plays to be low owned. It's rough business, but uh, let's take a look. So the first thing I look at is, well, you think you'd look at Vegas. Yeah, look at that. Vegas has Mark Stone all the way at the top. And then Petrangelo and Riley Smith and March has sold all of them right here. So as our instincts suggested and as the team total was, would suggest, the top idea 
looks to be at least one of them to be Vegas, you know, Stone, Smith, Marchesol, and Petrangelo. Now, with any luck, we'll look to the right and see they're on the same line. Yeah, look at that. They're 1-1. One, one. Vegas is a 1-1. One, one. That means first even straight line and first power play line. You have Petrangelo, 1-1. One, one. You have Riley Smith, 2-1. So not quite as good, but still pretty good. And Marchesol, 2-1. So very good. So you can play all four of those guys together with relative impunity. Uh, they're all pretty cheap. And you could start your lineups that way. I imagine they'll be high owned, but you know, it's uh, something to start with. The next thing I kind of look at is actually Nashville. Um, because I see two guys, aside from the goalie, rated really high. So you have Forsberg and Gross. And then you come down here and you have Par uh, Parsinian. And then you have Josie. Okay. So let's take a look and see if these guys again correlate. So Forsberg is 1 1. Jordan Gross is 1 2, not as good, but still not bad. Josie 1 1 and Parisinen 4 1. So that means that if we're going to play Parisinen, it's going to be probably a part of this power play line. Okay. Which seems to make a lot of sense. Um, so it looks as though Vegas and Nashville seem to be the idea. Now, notably absent from this is Minnesota. Right, Minnesota, although they have you know a big team total, they're not projecting all that great. I guess that's probably because the top guy is 9,200. So in a points per dollar basis, he's not looking that good. So that's actually pretty interesting. So even though Minnesota looks to be the top from a you know implied team total perspective, they don't look to be as good from a actual you know fantasy with salary considerations perspective. The other, the other one that kind of stands out here, like visually, is Colorado. Because you see Gomfer up here, and then Makar over here, and Rantanen over here, and Lincoln over here. And all these guys are one ones. Okay. So we have Vegas, with Minnesota, excuse me, Vegas, Nashville, and Colorado. Now, it'd be nice if, see, Nashville was not one of the top ranked um, as far as uh, implied goals. So maybe, maybe they won't be that high on. Um, we'll see. So before we go in actual build, let's take a look at anything else that might even stand out here. If there's any really strong one off, no, I don't see anything like that. Uh, goalies, the top rated goalies are a little expensive, but this one's good. So, so, but again, again, what I like to look for are, the top rated cheaper goalies. And this is what I'm getting now being Mackenzie Blackwood. So in my handbill lineup, this is what I want to do. I'm going to start with Mackenzie Blackwood and then see which combinations of Vegas, Minnesota, and Nashville make the most sense. We'll build those lineups. And then what we'll do is then have Saberson kind of assist us in building some more. So uh, let's go back here and let's first put in Mackenzie Blackwood. And fortunately, Fortunately, we don't have any interest in Florida people. So let's start with, oh, I don't know. We'll start with Vegas. So we're going to go with uh, Stone, uh, Petrangelo, mm, Riley Smith, and March Assaults. Okay. Um so we got those four. And then what would be nice if we have had a good center that we could throw in. Well, the, the good thing is that um, I don't really see too much as far as Vegas centers go. But what I want to do is, since I know that these guys are correlated, it was 1-1, one, 1-1, one, 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 two, one, two, one. So let's just find either somebody else on the first line or someone else in the power play line, Vegas, even if they don't project all that great. Uh, so Kessel, but he's another wing. So we need kind of a center. So we'll pull up the centers and let's just see. So you have Carlson is 2-2. Two, two. Where's the other? I guess they have nobody listed as a good center on Vegas. 
Let's go back to this a second. I'm a little curious what this is all about. Oh, because Eichel's on the injured reserve. So Chandler Stevenson or Carlson would be the guys, but I don't really have them listed as centers in my projection models, which is kind of weird. Let's do this by, by team. Let's go back to team. Vegas. All right, so St oh, Stevenson's 1-1. One, one. There he is. Okay, so we'll add Stevenson into this as well. And what do we got? So we have a very, very nice five-man Vegas stack, fully correlated on the power play, partially correlated on the even strengths. You know, we have two one ones and two two ones, right? And this is a, just a tremendous way to start your lineups. Um, at 4,600 a man, you could certainly make this work really, really easily. Um, okay. Now let's instead – go to our second option, which would be Nashville. And let's try to remind ourselves what we liked over there. I remember, I remember Josie at 8,600. Let's see if I remember, you remember these guys. Parsinian, again, very cheap. Forsberg, Duchesne, right? Was that what it is? Let's go back to see what our sheet said. It was Osaros, oh, Forsberg, Gross. Okay. So it'd be Saros. Oh, he's the goalie. Sorry. Gross defense. Josie defense as well, right? No, hang on. Josie already have him there. Let's put him in defense. Sorry. So we have Gross, Persinian, Forsberg, and Josie. And let's remind ourselves what the correlation of these guys are. Uh, this was the 1 2, right? So 1 2, 1 1, 4 1. This isn't quite as correlative as the other one. So I think Nashville is going to be a little bit of a weaker, a weaker option. And that's why you, you do this. That's the thing. If you're going to play Parsini and you really want the first power play line. And with gross, you're not getting that. So probably Nashville is going to drop off as kind of like priority. You could fill these guys in as part of like a four, three with Vegas, but I think Nashville is going to be a little bit weaker. And then we'll go back to the third one, which was, um, wait, what was the third one? Oh, right. It was um, Colorado. So that would be Gomfer, Makar, Lenkinen, Makar, Rantanen, and Lenkinen. Let's put that in because I'm, it could be it could fill out this four three rather nicely. So we'll go Gomfer, uh, Rantanen, and Lekkinen. Just make sure that we have correlation out of those guys. One one, Rantanen one one, Gomfer one one, perfect. So if you use these three with say, with just just say, um, Stevenson, March Assault, Trangelo, and Stone, for example, can't exactly get this, right? Because then we have to play a goalie in something else. But you can play some of this, right? But I think these Colorado pieces, boy, you play three of these, then I wonder what you could do with these Nashvilles. So Nashville guys look really cheap. Like I wanted to play some of them. Like you played Perusinian. You play him cheap. You know, it just keeps coming back to Vegas, doesn't it? 
just keeps coming back to Vegas. Now, again, just because I always have to do this, I have to see what everything looks like. They just project, uh, they're, they're, they're too expensive. And Dallas plays just too good defense. It's just not going to work. So it looks as though from a hand-built perspective, Vegas is the one that's much easier, is the easiest to play. Okay. Now, what I'd be curious to know then, and that's why we're going to do this, is what, if you had Saberson run this for you, even given the same projections, it's going to look for the same stuff, right? It's going to look for for correlative lineups, right? That 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 go well together. So let's see. What would happen? Once again, we'll put 150 in and we'll build. And again, I still don't know why I'm getting, I'll, I'll be getting all these four twos, which just doesn't seem to, I don't think I want to do that. Well, it looks like it's slowing on on me here. Boy, oh boy, it really doesn't want me to build any of these. Let's start over. So let's do this one more time. Let's just do, um, I don't want to build for me. Let's just, let's, let's do 50. Let's see, let's see what it does here. There you go. I think, let me pause this a second while it does its thing. Dang, Sabersim. One sec. All right, so seeing as Sabersim is being a little pesky, what we're going to do is upload these to draft to Roto Grinders and see if that does just any better. Doesn't look like they want us to uh, do anything here. So let's upload. We'll submit. We'll just submit these. And we're going to use for fantasy points. Very nice. And then what we'll do is we'll run a, uh, we'll run 150. And then what we'll have to do is we'll have to pick stacks as well. So we'll do quick stacks. We'll go, we'll enable these. I don't want three twos. I want like four threes. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here, but let's build some lineups. And then I'm going to keep trying Saber Sim. Just doesn't seem to be, seems to be a little pesky here. Oh, there you go. Okay. So we're going to have a contest. We're going to see wh where we get from Roto Grinders, lineup HQ, versus what we get with Saber Sim. Uh, oh, we didn't use our projections. Well, we got to do that. Well, if we didn't use, if we use Saber Sims projections, and let's say we pay 150 lineups, we're really cheating here, then you'd be getting Vegas and Colorado. And Nashville, what a surprise. Okay. Then when we replace them with ours, let's kind of show you how I do this. I have my own file here, put this up. Exclude a lot of players. And we'll try this again. And while that's going, I think it's going, we'll take a look at what these guys got us. So Roto's Grinders got us a whole bunch of exactly what we thought. A whole bunch of, uh, of Vegas and Nashville and all this stuff. So not a surprise. But just to see what Saberson would get with my projections. Uh, okay. Team stacks, Vegas, Colorado, Nashville. All right. Very good. And again, stack size and wants to get me all these four twos, which just kind of look ugly to me. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with that some other time. But I think no matter how many times we do this, no matter how we look at it, it's one of those three. Vegas, Nashville, and Colorado. All right, uh, that should do it. Uh, good luck today. And uh, we'll be going live at 6 where we talk about this as long with basketball. And probably go live at 11 where maybe we get a live sweat in as well.
Okay, good luck.